Yo, what's up guys? Will Scully, AudioSavings.com. We're here at NAMM 2016 and hanging out in the Furman booth. And a lot of people should be aware of how important it is. Well, to protect your gear, but you know, be aware of what can happen if you don't protect your gear. Rob here with Furman. Uh, we've got an experiment that we're gonna uh, uh, do briefly and take us through what happens uh, during the, uh, an over voltage situation. Absolutely, so what we're gonna do here is we have a little step up transformer here. This box here has a stepped up transformer in it. When I press this red button, it's gonna simulate an over voltage condition. And what we're gonna look at here is about 200 volts coming down the AC line. And we're gonna see with the bulb that's plugged directly in the box, what that voltage looks like direct, or what Furman would do with its EVS technology. And right here, you're gonna see the Furman reacts, kicks the bulb off. You see it go into extreme voltage shutdown. But on this side, this is your gear frying at this point. Ah, yeah, it's basically toasting. And so with Furman, it's gonna take, and once that voltage comes back into a safe range, comes right back on. So you don't end up with something cooking. And you can even look right there, they're gonna show that. That's what happens to a cheap plastic power strip when you add 200 volts to it. So, and that could be your gear. So it's very important to have something that has Furman with EVS in it. Extreme voltage shutdown. You want to cut that off before it cooks. That's the bottom line. This is good. Now, does this also act as a power conditioner? I guess it does. It says right there, power conditioner. Oh, absolutely. So it also does surge suppression. So surges are fast spikes. They're 3,000 amp, 6,000 volt. Well, we can dissipate up to 3,000 amp, 6,000 volt hits as fast as a nanosecond and take care of that energy. And with the S&P technology, it doesn't compromise the surge suppression. So it doesn't go boom. Yeah. A lot of stuff smokes, like yeah. that thing over there. Oh, so it? our stuff, no, 3,000 amps, 6,000 volt hits fast in a nanosecond. Anything over 137 for a third of a second, we disconnect so it doesn't cook. And then the other thing is lowering the noise floor on the AC line. Mm -hmm. Basically, as you're recording audio or video, you have data that happens there. Say this is an audio file wave and you have a noise floor, it's right there. Unfortunately, some of that resolution is getting lost in the noise. When you get rid of that noise and lower it to TV levels, now you're open, you get the full resolution of that audio. You'll end up EQing a lot less and you'll end up with a lot blacker background and just quieter and then more full uh, operation uh, uh, coming out of the audio. Yeah, low. You can't tell it's four days at NAM here, folks, really. <laughs> Rob's like, I'm hanging on by a thread. Hey, I've been here four days. I'm feeling for you, buddy. But uh, yeah, good. I, I wouldn't trade it for anything, though. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Rob, we appreciate you guys at Furman for keeping our gears safe. And we thank you guys at home for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Will Scully. Bye, kids.